Shut up, Grip. All right, guys, we're rolling. Oh, we shit. Are. Hold on. Yeah, yeah, it's going. Hold on here. Okay, okay. Uh, Shut up, Tio. Yeah, sorry, guys. So we're a bit rusty here. All right, welcome, everyone, to the uh, the Falcrest News Show. Thank you guys for tuning in today. We're all a little bit rusty, uh, having not done one of these in quite a while. You're rusty. Okay. So uh, to the uh, to the left of me here, we got Pikachu Bolt, mm-hmm. one of our new hosts. To the right of me, we got Grip. Man, Grip, you're loaded with your armor and everything. Dog, you got you gotta. Yeah, there there we go. In fact, what we need is we need to get some of them leather, uh, you know, news looking suits sometime. Okay. God, no. Anyway, so. Oh All right, so today oh we got a lot of cool news. Um, so coming up today, we're going to talk about an event that we're going to be doing next month. Uh, once we talk about that, we're going to talk about some cool stuff we got going on this weekend. Then we're going to talk about the patch we just did, some of the new features, as well as the patch we're going to do next week, and some of the new features that we're planning on rolling out with that. Finally, uh, we are looking for some new staff, so those of you who are interested in that, we're going to talk about that toward the end of the video. So... So yeah, so Pika, um, why don't you tell us about this event we got coming up next month? So, pirates. That's what we're doing. No, I'm joking. Okay, so September 24th is a Saturday. Um, We have posted a thread out there. Many of you have responded already. But we want to know what theme you guys want to do for our major event that we're hosting. You have a choice between pirate, murder mystery, or apocalypse. And we want to hear from you guys, since you are the player base, and we like, love to do what you guys want to do. So, in the description below, there's a, a link. Go out there and vote. Let us hear what you want. We're going to give what you want. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be awesome. A lot of fun. So, hope you be there, because I will see you all there. Now, Pika, what? Uh, tell us more about... You know what? What you mean when you say like this is a themed event? You know, some of us haven't exactly been around for a themed event before. <laughs> what does okay. this look like? All right. So, once we get the theme picked from the players, we are going to have many events throughout the day, and those events will correlate with the theme. So, if it's pirates, we'll have like pirate ships or something like that. Murder mystery, a big house or something. Apocalypse, zombies. Duh. Apocalypse, Walking Dead. Let's go. Okay. So. Any event or any decorations that we make or any builds are going to be focused around that theme. So that's why we want to hear what you guys want so we can make what we need for that theme. So pirates, pirate ship, we got you. Murder mystery, we got you. Now, Pika, this event, uh, you know, Saturday the 24th of September. Yeah, 24th. Yeah. Um, You know, is is this, are we talking like a casual, simple event here? God, no. This this event is not just any event. Not any event. It is a major event where it is like a huge not starting midday and going to late at night filled with events known to, I don't know, it's just a lot of events. And then it's <laughs> gonna have like a, a lot of players are gonna be on, we might break our new record, you know, it's just It's gonna be crazy. Yeah. That's right. So we're going crazy. all out with this event. Uh this we, we've got higher ambitions for this than we had for Origins Day, for any any other event that we've done so far, and that's why we're we're going to be spending so much time in preparation for it. Um, you know, we're already beginning preparations right now, and you know, we're more than six weeks out. So, be there, be square, hop, get it, Minecraft square. Uh, okay, so we have an event, Joey. Oh, honey. Grip. <laughs> the grip. So we got some other stuff going on this weekend. Uh, you know, tell us some more about that. Yeah, uh, up and coming this Saturday, we've got the uh, the final of our July Town Tournament. And with that, the Town Tournament being a buildup of the size, economy, culture, and the PvP skills of each and every town that has decided to sign up, basically, we're coming to the end of our military portion, which will be these four towns. Coastborn will be facing off against Skyforge. No coast, is- I mean sky. Forge. Oh, traitor. Oh. <laughs> You're welcome. Okay. But uh, basically, it's it's like a blast from the past. I mean, Lagash versus Coastborn used to be a thing. I mean, Lagash versus Pacific Beach used to be a thing. We're just coming <gasps> back. We're see, can they get a comeback, beat us this time, or can we do it again? We'll see. We'll probably be doing that one on the, uh, the Fire and Ice map. Bring that one back. That'll be at uh, 6 to 7 p.m. And then 
The other two towns are Dreadland and Lewin. They're going to dish it out. And of those four towns, the, uh, the two victors in each little sector will face it off in the final of the town tournament. Excellent, excellent. Now, is that the only event that we're going to be doing uh, this weekend, or what else do we have going on? Absolutely not. Most of you may know yes. that we did a 1v1 tournament last weekend, and uh, that was our 10th. We'll be doing our 11th this coming weekend after the, uh, the final battles. Excellent. So what time is that going to be? That'll be 7, 8.30. 7 to 8.30. Sweet. And then uh, after that, uh, we're going to be doing the award ceremony. Uh, so that'll be something. We'll be giving out all the prizes for the July town tournament there. Um, and then finally, at the end, we haven't had one in a while, but we're actually going to be doing a drop party. So <laughs> Ooh. Definitely, presents. definitely want to be there for that. Yeah, we'll be dropping a lot of cool shit. Um, so make sure you get there for that. Probably be dropping a few elytras. Be dropping a little bit of god gear here and there. You know, if we get a pretty good turnout. Well, you guys know how it is. The more people show up, the heavier the shit is. So, you know, if we get like, you know, 40 to 50 people, it'll probably be, you know, fairly light drops. Nothing too crazy. Maybe some elytras here and there. You know, mm -hmm. we get into the 50s then we'll start talking some heavier shit. Boy, we get up into the 60s, I tell you what, we'll be dropping all kinds of shit. We'll be dropping God gear, big paychecks, we'll be dropping elytras. Polar bears. Yeah, polar bears. Yes! Hell yeah. Heck, we might even, uh, you know, now that we have the custom villagers, we might drop some villager eggs at this drop party. So, oh. you know, hint, hint, wink, wink. Uh, <laughs> but uh, anyway, so speaking of the custom villagers... Um, so we just did our patch recently. It was the 1.1.3 patch. Uh, now this patch uh, is basically the accumulation of maintenance that we've been doing over the last like one or two weeks, right? So of course, as everyone pretty much knows at this point, we fixed the rollback issue. Uh, aside from that, uh, we also fixed numerous other issues such as uh, issues we were having with the gods plugin, uh, issues we were having with residents, all the shops, so on and so forth. We fixed a lot of different technical issues. Now. Aside from all the tech issues that we fixed, uh, the two new features that we added, um, we completely reconfigured residence. So now people who own uh, residences, you'll now be able to self-manage all your residences much easier. You'll be able to evict people from your residences as needed. Um, those who are in a residence will be able to leave the residence easier. Uh, you, you now have uh, permissions to own more residences, to rent more residences, uh, so on and so forth. So um, you won't need help from an admin nearly as often as you used to when it comes to managing residences. Uh, aside from that, um, we have set up the admins to be able to have the perms to help you out. It's no longer just me and Pika who can help with all the shops and everything. So uh, that stuff's all fixed. Um, and then aside from that, uh, the biggest feature that we've added with the 1.1.3 patch was we now have custom villager trades. So as many of you guys know and were disappointed in, a few weeks ago uh, with the 1.1.2 patch, we got rid of villager trades entirely in order to balance out the economy. People were on a large scale mass producing um, many, many highly valuable items, particularly god gear. Um, and this was inflating the economy quite a bit. So uh, this was definitely a problem for the economy. The default villagers are very, very imbalanced. You can get some default villagers that'll trade uh, shit like raw flesh uh, for emeralds, right? And then you can take those emeralds and you can trade those for just about anything of value. So uh, the default villager trades are, I, I'm sorry, I don't care who you are, they're just flawed, right? And so anyway, we've now made custom ones and there's currently 91 available trades ranging from very low value to very high value. Some of these, uh, some of these, now I'm going to let you guys find out what's available on your own. Uh, but some of these you can go as far as uh, trading even a, a god chest plate or a god sword. Uh, there's some really beefy stuff that you can get using these trades. So these aren't all just dull, dumbified trades, okay? We didn't nerf anything. Rather, we balanced it out so that it's not... Uh, something that can be used to mass produce uh, these valuable items. So 
Anyway, so as I mentioned, there's currently 91 trades available. However, we're going to be expanding on this, tweaking it, and modifying it to perfection over the coming months. So we still want your guys' ideas. Don't ever hesitate to put suggestions for potential trades out there, okay? Uh, we want your ideas, and we're going to be expanding that to many, many, many more trades over the next several months. So, Oh, dang. That'll yeah. be exciting. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I've um, never even messed with them, but I might now. Yeah, yeah, definitely take a look at what's out there. And that's something else worth mentioning is now that this is the case, now that villagers aren't imbalanced anymore, the old, um, you know, no villager farm rule no longer exists. Uh, villager farms are completely allowed, they're encouraged, and they are a strategic part of the game now. So, anyway, so moving on here... Um, so that's the 1.1.3 patch, but next weekend, or next week I should say, uh, we have the 1.1.4 patch coming up, and that patch is going to introduce a lot of new content as well. So with the 1.1.4 patch, uh, we're going to try to introduce uh, all the party elements of the server that we wanted to have from launch, but due to a lack of plugin updates, uh, we couldn't have these. So specifically, we're looking at reintroducing the casino plugin, reintroducing the um, cards plugin this is a plugin that allows you to play poker uh, we're going to introduce a whole new rank tree this is actually going to be a party rank tree it's pretty cool more details on that later mm -hmm. and on top of that uh, we're going to be looking at introducing the uh, stocks plugin again but with a fix that makes it so that it can't be abused and not only that but they recently updated the stocks plugin to allow for user created companies now before I make uh, all these promises, I want you guys to know these features coming up in the patch next week all need to be tested. So I can't promise that all these features I'm talking about will be rolled out. The goal is to get them all rolled out. However, some of these things do have potential to be abused and we need to test them thoroughly to ensure that they cannot be abused. So assuming that they pass all the tests and they can't be abused and there's no significant flaws, if that's the case, then yes, we will definitely roll out uh, with this content. But, like I said, we're going to be doing the test next week. And so, you know, get excited, but don't get your hopes up too much because some of it we may not be able to roll out with. Okay, It's kind of like how we were so excited about Movecraft for the longest time. But then we, when, when we went to test it, we discovered that a server of our size simply couldn't roll out with that plugin without causing massive lag. Okay. Um, in this case, we need to test the plugins to ensure that, you know, there's not going to be ways that this can be abused uh, for economic gain. So anyway, but that's the goal. So next week, it's going to be like a party patch. It's going to introduce as many party elements as possible. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention is we are going to give it another shot at a custom music plugin that we used to have in 1.8. This plugin allows, basically it allows you to make playlists of minecraft versions of real life songs you can listen to those playlists with your friends and it also allows the server to play these playlists for everyone to hear during events and such and it, it makes the events a lot more lively and fun so mm. we're going to try to reintroduce that as part of the patch next week as well so so yeah <clears throat> so yeah um lots of fun underway oh yeah definitely lots of fun coming up um so that pretty much wraps it up for all the patchwork that we've been doing and all the patchwork that we're going to do. Um, Pika, we have one last thing to talk about in regards to new staff. Uh, why don't you tell them a little bit about that? Hi, my name is Pika Skeena. Okay, so as you can see, um, we don't have a lot of staff. Like, we do, but we don't, but we do, but we don't in the same way. We've seen a couple of you guys put out applications for everything. So... We have a new mod application out there, so we encourage you to apply. We are looking for mature players who enjoy what we do, our product as a, uh, as a server, um, love to work with people or can work with them, work as a team, um, love to help people, and just like to play on our server in general, basically. Um, if you think you qualify for any of that or all of it, go ahead and put your application out there. We're going to be picking some new staff here soon, and we're going to be promoting some people. Um, so if you want to join our team, Put your application out there. Doesn't harm you to do that. Doesn't harm anyone else. You just, hey, I want to be mod. Tell us why. Fill out the application. Boom. We will let you know. 
Excellent. So that is going to be in the description below. Yep. So we'll be looking for those new moderators here pretty soon. And uh, yeah. Bye. So yeah, do you guys have anything else to add before we uh, wrap it up today? International Pika Day. Done. International Pika Day. Yeah, that could be a holiday. There we go. That could be a holiday. We'll we'll, we'll uh, celebrate that sometime later on. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. we do have Pikachu heads in the luxury shop. If you guys mm -hmm. want to check those out. Exactly! Shameless self-promotion. You know what? <laughs> you know what? Don't even... Fight me. Let's go. Duel right now. All right, guys. Thank you all for watching. Have a great day. We'll Bye. see you guys next time. Oh, grip. You suck.